Hi, I'm Jesse Janae, and you're watching Unboxing Things. And I don't know what brand we have in our mailbox today, but I'm sure it's going to be a good one. Let's see what we've got. Okay, you guys, all right. Today we're unboxing Everlane. If you haven't heard of Everlane, Everlane is a fashion brand online that ships direct to consumer and ships high quality essentials. You can buy all of your t-shirts, jeans, all sorts of things for your basic wardrobe, but beautifully executed and very sustainably produced. They practice radical transparency, so they talk about their markups right on the website. Disclaimer, I am wearing Everlane jeans and Everlane shirt right now. Is it a coup? Did I do it just because of the unboxing? No, I wear their clothes all the time. So, Everlane is using a craft box, um, fairly standard in its construction, and has single color printing on the outside. Subtlety can go a long way. So they've just got an Everlane logo here, and the only other piece of printing on the box is actually on the bottom, which is some instructions. It says that the box is recyclable, compostable, and biodegradable, and then it has the dimensions. That's probably here for fulfillment, not really for you. Only other thing on the outside of the box is the tape. So this says Tread, a new kind of sneaker brand by Everlane. Everlane often uses its tape to communicate something about a new product. When they launched denim, they did tape that said denim. So it doesn't necessarily mean that's what I'm gonna get in this inside of my box, but they're promoting something that they've recently come out with. They communicate with their tape. This is a reinforced gummed paper tape. What is gummed paper tape, you ask? You ask? Gummed paper tape is a type of tape that comes off the roll and it's not even sticky. It's water activated. I'm going to open that up. Slicing. Do, 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 do. Opening, opening, opening. Flap. Opening, opening, opening. Flaps. All right, a couple different things are interesting. One, we've got a box in here because I actually ordered shoes. Everlane, Italy. I like this, it's clean, it's sleek, and this shoe box is beautiful. We're gonna come back to that. So this box construction is a little different, but not that strange. Effectively, it still has a front flap tucks in, but instead of having flaps that go over to the side to secure the box into place, there's one big flap on the front, and so when you open it, the box goes like this. This is a really efficient use of corrugate because this flap sticks out the same amount as this flap. So there's less like likelihood that a flap sticks out and wastes more corrugate board. Think of it kind of like cookie cutting. Um, and this is a really efficient use of dough. There's no printing on the inside of the box. Something that I really enjoy about Everlane I, and echoes through to their packaging is there's no unnecessary things, no unnecessary ornament, no unnecessary branding, no unnecessary anything. A craft craft box, meaning no white side, etc., is also one of the best ways to use the most recycled materials, which I'm sure they thought about. Now to the shoe box itself. This shoe box is beautiful, um, it has a nice texture, and if I take the lid off this shoe box, um, I have a piece of collateral inside here. It says, good choice. At Everlane, we want the right choice to be as easy as putting on a great t-shirt. That's why we partner with the best ethical factories around the world, source only the finest materials, and offer you beautiful products at radically transparent prices. So right off the bat, when I open this, I see this brand messaging. It really communicates to me what I'm participating in. And inside this little collateral envelope thing is actually my packing slip. This is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, thin, not wasteful, and it talks to me about how to make returns as well. Everlane kind of bucks a common trend in e-commerce that all returns are free by sometimes charging a returns fee. It's very minimal, but I think it's really fascinating to highlight because as a business choice, it highlights that they're kind of asking you to take ownership over a lot of your choices as it relates to things. When you ship something back, that's more emissions, that's more freight, etc. And so it's not something that we should just all be doing all the time and not thinking about it. You'll notice that they're using this gray color um, on the actual envelope, on the box itself. Inside the actual shoes that I order are in tissue and then boom, 
right here, the shoe. There's actually no plastic in this shipment whatsoever, um, just paper. So I could recycle everything that I received today. You can also notice that this piece of tissue is a curious shape. Um, it's actually the exact width here of the shoe box, or a little bit thinner. Um, so they actually have custom cut tissue paper so they can put one sheet down in the box, put the shoes in, and then put another sheet that's custom cut to be this size down this way. So the Everlane logo and Italy are, is printed on the lid. Um, and on the box portion itself, the bottom portion, there's no printing aside from these crop marks that tell someone where to put this sticker with the barcode. So something that a lot of people don't know about rigid boxes, like this is a rigid box, it doesn't collapse. So it can be pretty inefficient to ship just the boxes empty because they have to be shipped like this, like as a full box with empty air inside. Everlane runs a really efficient supply chain. I wouldn't be surprised if this box is produced really close to where the shoes are produced because you don't want to ship an empty box too far when it can't collapse. The other thing to note is that there's actually quite a bit of handwork involved in producing a box like this. This actual woven kind of feel material is printed and made and then the box is made um, out of this actual rigid board so this is the actual material the box is made out of and this kind of woven finished material is laminated over and folded in kind of a gift-like fashion it actually takes human labor to make a box like this so that's why you probably should keep this box if you like it. It's a great way to store the shoes, but a lot of effort was put into producing this. I think it's time to roll in the recap. Everlane, incredible brand, but let's hone in on three key things I love about their packaging. One, it's essential, meaning all the elements of their packaging are fairly essential to the experience and to making sure I get the item safely. Two, it's responsible from the materials that they're using, the fact the whole experience is plastic free, the fact that the box, you know, actual dye line is made to be optimized to use less corrugate. It's very responsibly put together. And also those call-outs on the bottom of the box, remember, they remind me that the box is biodegradable, recyclable, etc. And then it's subtle. This is something I need you to remember, that sometimes more is not more. Everlane is printing the outside of their box, but instead of putting white printing all over, they just decide to say Everlane. It's simple. They're really maximizing what they're doing and making it memorable. This has been Everlane Unboxed.